I just want to show you how hot these vapors are. Welcome to Warp Legacy. So it's getting pretty cold. And for the past couple years, we've been heating the house with uh, electric heaters and kerosene heaters, which not only is expensive, it is dangerous. So we need to do something else because I can't afford to keep doing that. We are gonna build a rocket mass heater. Uh, now a rocket mass heater is very similar to a, f you've got high heat, you've got airflow, you've got a small insulated burn space. So this is pretty familiar. The difference is you don't, add the airflow. The airflow is all done by the heat riser. So you have a short tube and that's where you feed with another tube on the bottom and then another tube up and that tube up is your heat riser. And they call this J tube. I don't get it. And we're gonna build one of them out of cement blocks right now. And I know the cement blocks won't hold up to the heat. I have a solution for that. You just be patient and trust me. I guess I didn't really explain why we're in the shop. Um, we're out here because I am going to do a dry build and a test burn just to make sure all of my calculations of heat transfer and everything are correct. So, let's do this. Alright, this should be the configuration that it's in when I do my final build. I had to go through a couple changes there because I was running into an issue. Now I know what I'm doing, I know how I'm doing it. This is gonna work pretty good, I hope. Right now the inside of this is essentially 8 inches. And this is an 8 inch tube. This part is not 8 inches. This section is like 5 inches by 3, 3 and a half, something like that because I'm going for a four inch system. So think four inch square, four inch round. Now, my secret here is not really a secret. Like I said earlier, this stuff will not handle the temperature. How am I gonna protect regular old concrete blocks and mortar from these potentially 2,500 degree plus fires? Ugh! Two inch thick, 2,600 degree ceramic fiber insulation. Oh, ha -ha. This stuff is cool. I made the inside of this all eight inches. So when I line it with this, that'll take two inches from every dimension twice because it'll take two inches from each side. So when I line this with this insulation, it's gonna have a four inch hole in the middle. When I line this inside with this insulation, it's gonna have a four inch hole in the middle. So I'm gonna have a four inch system all the way through. I'm going to get the insulation in here and hopefully I'll have enough time tonight to uh, burn it for an hour, hour or two. Because my biggest thing that I'm trying to figure out is this air gap down here. I've got a good chunk of concrete and an air gap underneath that. That's gonna be sitting on my wood floor. And if I can get away with it, I'm not even gonna take the carpet out. With the fiberglass insulation and the seven inches of concrete, I don't think the heat's gonna get down there. The heat's gotta go somewhere, so I'm not doing it without testing. So now, let's play with some insulation. And we don't need to use the whole length of that pipe for the riser. The entire riser only needs to be three times the size of your, the depth of your burn side. And our burn side is gonna be 13 inches tall.
So a burn sign is going to be 13 inches tall. Then you take that 13, multiply it by 3, and you get 39. So our total heat riser needs to be at least 39 inches. But that is not the entirety of the heat riser because that goes all the way to the bottom of the burn chamber. And that should be able to take off about seven inches. So that would take us down to 32 inches. But that's the minimum that it has to be. It can be taller than that. So I'm probably, since we're so close to three foot, I'm just gonna cut a three foot piece. So our heat riser is gonna be three foot tall. gonna happen and I knew I shouldn't have done that but I should have mentioned you really shouldn't handle this stuff the way I have been because little pieces of it will break off and you'll get little tiny pieces of the ceramic fiber embedded in your skin because it's just like fiberglass insulation so I'm probably gonna be pretty itchy and irritated around this arm for the rest of the day because I just rubbed this right down the side and jiggled it around in there yeah no pain, no gain, right? I think that applies. I don't, I don't, I don't, maybe, maybe it should be a different saying, but that's the one I'm going with. All right, now let's take the top off of this. She's ready to make fire! All right, we have a pretty good fire going down there now. I don't know if you can see it. It'll just pull, just pulling that fire right sideways. So now I'm just gonna keep this burning for an hour or two and uh, we'll see how warm she gets. I'm guessing she's really not gonna get very warm at all. We look like we are already burning clean. I don't see any smoke. Do you? I see no smoke. Whew. We have definitely got a hot fire. Check that out. Ooh, yeah. Dude, coming up top. Don't want to melt my lens. Singed my beard. I, I, I don't know if we got that on camera, but you can see all the little curly cues down there. Maybe, I don't know the spokes thing. I just like to demonstrate what this heat riser is actually doing. Because with this two insulation, I can't, I can't put my hand up over the top of it for, other than just like waving it over the top. You saw what it did to the paper. It's still that hot. But with that insulation, this is finally just getting warm, but it's just 
barely warm. It was actually cold when I started. But if I take this heat riser off, you got flames coming out that end. Check this out. Woo! Okay, now, when I put this thing back on, it immediately starts going back down up here. Fire's a little cooler now than it was before I took that off, but not by much. It's negligible, and I still can't put my hand over the top. Whew. It's cold out here. Ugh. And this thing, the way it's set up right now, is not helping at all. Because this part of it is designed to keep the heat in the burn chamber. So all the heat in this is staying in the burn chamber, moving along, going up the heat riser and out the top. This thing is still cool enough that I can just put my hand right on it. At one point it was warm, but now it's actually cool. Still got the fire going down there sideways. This is all. This one is not cold. This one's cold, cold, cold. These are a little bit warm, but it's cold down here. Sides, barely warm at all. Like it's, it's not hot anywhere other than the air coming out the top. Like it's not even, Like if your food was served to you at this temperature on the outside, this is probably the hottest right here. If your food was served to you at this temperature, you'd send it back because it was cold. But the, you saw the fire, the heat coming out of here is uh, hot enough to light paper on fire. So when we get the containment out here, so it comes back up here, goes back down, and then out. And then when it goes out, it'll go through a bench that will be a big mass that will keep all the heat in and radiate heat for hours, hopefully a day or two. The test was a success. This thing is burning really good. So what I'm gonna say rocket mass heater test one is an extreme success. It's totally safe. It's not getting hot anywhere. It's not throwing sparks. It's not throwing smoke out the wrong direction. It's got a good solid uh, draft coming up. And as you can see, I hardly went through any wood. I loaded it the first time, and then I think I loaded it twice more after that. And that's including the stuff that's still burning here. So, yeah, they don't go through a lot of wood and they put off a lot of heat. The heat coming out of here is a ton. This is gonna save me some money this year. <laughs> now, I need to get inside and make this in mortar. That's not happening today. That's the end of this video. Thank you for visiting Warp Legacy. Until next time, I'm Tuan. Go define your legacy. Did I mention it's cold and all the heat's going off the top? So this is not keeping me warm at all yet. Hope you're warm. I can barely feel my, feel my fingers. I can, I apparently I can barely talk too.